Andrew, over to you. Nasha, thank you. 8.15 this morning. The Dow is down after being in record territory for quite a while. You're taking a live look at the big board. Down about 100 points. It's been flirting around 100 points in the last few minutes. So this is up after a 150-point spike yesterday and one of the longest mar up upswings in the Dow we've seen in quite some time. So is now the right time to start investing? Well, joining me here with the answer, Michael Triberg with Triberg Wealth Management here in Tucson. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Well, it's my pleasure. So the Dow's been in the streak for a long time, several months now. Um, as we get further into record, record territory, do people who are interested in investing, is now a good time to do that? Yeah, it's a great question. With It seems like we're hitting an all-time high yeah. every day almost. Uh, we are down a little bit today, but we are in record territory, no doubt. Um, with this, the thing to remember is that you always want to make your investment decisions and whether or not to invest not on the short-term swings mm -hmm. in the market, but what your specific risk tolerance is and what your specific time horizon is. Uh, because the markets are going to be volatile. Who knows when a correction is going to come, so it really has to be based on your situation. And for those already uh, investing, this, these streaks are obviously great news. As you were saying, these things don't continue forever. Um, does that mean something bad is, is coming soon, or there's no way to tell? There, there's no way to tell. There's a lot of economic data that shows that this could be uh, continue and be supported, but we're eight years into this. The Dow is up 18% year to date, so if you have been invested, you've seen some great gains, which is fantastic, but now is a great time to look at taking some profits and rebalancing. Uh, we like to stress test our portfolios so we can really get an idea on what areas might be vulnerable at some type of upcoming market correction. Now, if I'm drawing a line here where I shouldn't be drawing a line, let me know. But the current Fed Chair, Janet Yellen, her mm -hmm. term is up in February. The President may announce a new uh, head of the Fed very soon before he leaves for his trip. We know Wall Street very reactive to things like that. Yep. Could Wall Street react in uh, one way or another to a new Fed chair? Yeah, absolutely. The, 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 the Wall Street has really, the stock market overall has really enjoyed these very low interest rates. Mm -hmm. And even though they've been going up, they've been going up very, very slow. Uh, we do expect a, a new chairman to come in, and uh, but we do expect the, uh, them to probably keep a similar tone with very slow interest rates, which I would guess the markets will like. If we do start to see rapid in increases in interest, mm -hmm. uh, that could scare the markets, no doubt. The Fed chair, one of the most important decisions for a president, right? Mm -hmm. Talk about that a little bit. It is. It, you know, th this is the person that's really going to shape economic policy and, and really pull the triggers to try to help the economy in tough times. And, uh, and also try to pull back when things seem to be doing well. So there, there's a lot of weight that goes into this decision, and I know there's a lot of talk swirling around on the decision process and how that's going to be taken yeah. care of. And the president leaves for his trip in just a few days. The announcement expected before that, so we'll keep watching that. Yep, Michael Triberg with Triberg Wealth Management. Thanks for being here. I appreciate oh, my it. My pleasure. All right, it is 8.18. We'll be right back. Stay with us.